Alright, so my restream chat uh, doesn't want to work. I'm sorry guys. Oh, wait! There you go. Ace Barrett, welcome. It is working, that's really good. So then, for the second game, we have Tato versus Slam. This time, we have Mines versus Japanese. Interesting. Uh, this is a nice, nice hybrid map. And it, in maps like these, it's gonna be important to have a good docking position. Um, so there's that. Other than that, I just read that this uh, this this tournament is starting in Field Age, so that is why um, they can already build an archery range. Continental? No, can't because Continental will have not stuff like this. Hmm. Anyway, uh, so Taito being the Japanese, he's going for archers. I, th I, I think Japanese do have uh, good archers, right? Yeah. They can uh, go all the way up to Arbalest, so that's definitely good. So there is that. And um, Slam being the Mayans, I would say he can also, uh, especially in the early age, go with, go with archers. And after that, he can of course do plumes if he wants to. I would, I would, and I would even say plumes versus uh, something like samurai or something would definitely be in the favor of slam. So I'm curious to see how Tato is going to deal with this. Uh, what map is it? Oh, it is continental, but it is a different. It's not the standard continental. It's a WSVG continental. No, well, not the standard Age of Empires continental. I'm pretty sure it is. Isn't. Um, so, let's see, Tato here, oh man, I should watch and learn, look at this beautiful, beautiful dock placement by Tato. He will have a ton of fish coming in, and his fish boom will be absolutely awesome. And that's something the mines player could also do, go with uh, galleys instead of um, archers, you know, especially in Feudal Age. He might throw in some galleys right there. Um, and I think... It is pretty interesting to start in Feudal Age as there are so many possibilities as to what you can do. Um, you know, I think Castle Age start is just a little bit overpowered and, and confusing, whereas in Feudal Age it is just really complicated in, in a different way. So, yeah, I, I already like the settings. Good. I really enjoy the settings. So yeah, I, I just wanted to um, to talk about the map generation um, because you are saying that it is in the favor of Tato, but I I don't know. Let's see, let's see. He has he has a good amount of gold here. It's a it's a little bit snuck up here, or how do I say this? Placed between the wood lines, so that's not really nice. And then he has two stone piles and also a gold pile right here. And so that's uh, about the resources for, for Slam. He has, let's see, one gold here, two gold in the back as well. Mm, so I can't really, s I, I wouldn't really s uh, see why Tato is, uh, has an advantage right here. Freddy Mercury, <laughs> what? Uh, I shouldn't read the chat, chat too much as it, as it is distracting me and I want to uh, I want to try and focus on the game and say notable things about 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 what's going on instead of uh, talking shit. So there you go, Tato now going forwards uh, with some archers and as it seems Slam was was too late here walling things off so these archers here are now inside of the base of Slam and they might do a good amount of damage as Slam doesn't have enough stone to tower up, so this wood line will, will get the knight, pretty sure. Ah, of course, the fish. Yes. So, uh, Slam already already is splitting his wood line, and I am not sure if he did spot uh, spotted, if he did spot the, the archers already, but there you go, archers going in, killing a villager maybe, yes, there is one going down, this one will go down as well. And Tato doing a good amount of damage already in the early age. 
Um, but for now, Slam is walled off, so it will be a little bit harder, a little harder for Tato uh, to get some new units in. Not impossible though, he could uh, make a transport ship, but then he would need another dock right here, which is really inconvenient to get. Uh, ah, there you go. It's already TG, according to Ivik. Well, we'll have to wait and see. I don't know, Slam's a strong player, as you saw in the first game. Uh, but this is gonna be really inconvenient. And oh, Slam is being desperate here, attacking archers with his villagers. And it might work, but he will lose a ton of villagers in doing so, I'm pretty sure. And uh, let's see, one villager going down, two villagers going down already. He is so darn desperate, but well, it does work, but man, the damage being done by Tato is so big right now. Another villager going down, man, he might as well GG. <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man, and there you go, Slam saying the GG. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> oh, he lost two fills to Boar. Ah, I didn't, I didn't uh, notice. No stragglers around either? Yeah. Oh man, they, they are starting so quickly. Alright. But man, that was... Oof. That was some intense games. So I better, I better up my uh, casting skills here and try to keep up with, with the pace of this game.